Hello there, this is Mohammed, founder of the Growth Seed. Today, I will show you how to create abundant cart reports using Shopify and Google Analytics. As you might know, Shopify has a native report showing ab abundant checkouts, but there is a difference between abundant carts and abundant checkouts. Let's say people are visiting your store, some of them adding products to their cart, and then some of them, some of the people who added a product to their cart, starts the checkout. Shopify shows abundant checkouts when people start the checkout and enter their email addresses in the checkout page. However, you are leaving a huge amount of your traffic, you know, who are adding products to their cart, but never starting the checkout or starting checkout and leaving it without adding their email addresses. So, you know, it can be important to understand how much you are losing uh, with this traffic and you can generate these reports just using Google Analytics. Very simple. Now, first look at our Google Analytics data. If you, you don't need any advanced configuration of Google Analytics, you know, just add your Google Analytics account ID to your Shopify uh, dashboard, and then it will collect essential events like adding a product to cart, starting the checkout automatically. And as you can see in my screen now, there are two different events. First of all, add to cart. Second one, begin checkout. These are our important events to understand abundant cards report now what i need to do is very simple i will open a new tab write lucrastudio.google.com now in this page i start link report now it asks me to connect a data source i will choose google analytics and then i just choose my data source now we will create our shopify abundant card report template now in this screen I just remove this table and then click on add control section and choose date range control. I just place it in here as you can see and then I will start first with a you know total numbers. I want to see how many people are living in their cart. Now I will ch change views with total ev events, event count and then as you can see in here there is one filter section. I will just click on add filter. Now I will put myself in here and then I will choose event name which is equal to add to cart. I will write here add to cart events to reuse it later and click on save button. I will just rename this add, add to cart events you know and then I will add another cart and uh, create another filter this will be event name again and should equal to begin checkout now oh, i just type it begin checkout events then i will click on save of course this is views i need to change it with event count and then i will rename it as begin checkout events now all I need to do is, you know, I just click on this one and then choose this one to I press shift K in my keyboard and then click on blend data. This is the percentage of people, you know, I just need to close it. Percentage of people proceeds to check out. As you can see, most of my people, most of my visitors who are adding a product to their cart, they don't proceed to checkout. They just leave without seeing the checkout page. So you might thinking about, you know, I set up my automations. Uh, I send automatically reminders to people, uh, complete their checkout, etc. But when they don't start the checkout process, you can't send emails to them and they just can't. This is a huge problem. And end of this video, I will show you a solution for this problem. Now, after seeing this one, you know, I need to get more details about the performance of my store and behavior of these card abundance. So I just click on table and choose a time series. I will put it in here. Then I just, sorry about that. I just want to it a little bigger, you know, like this one. And then as you can see, I need to choose my data source. I click on cancel icon. I choose my data source. Now I need to create another filter. This filter will only show people who are adding product to their carts, but they will check out without buying anything. So 
for first of my filter include events event name which is equal to it to card and then just exclude events equal to begin checkout so i leave this name it as card vendors you know these are people who add a product to their card but didn't start a checkout process so i can see in daily basis how many people adding product to their card and then leave a store without starting even checkout process then i just you know use the same setup and filters to create some others uh, detailed report i just close this one so i just copy it and paste it in here you know now instead of event counts i can see total users as metric and then i can create a new chart you know pie chart sorry about this one yes this is working perfectly now for this one i need my filter again card abandoners and then instead of date i might want to check out first users source and medium you know so it gave me some ideas about my marketing channels also i would love to check out some device issues if there is any so i can choose device category and then it can be an important idea to check out you know geolocation i just choose map as you see in the screen i just open it and add my filter card abandoners so it shows me location of people who are adding product to their cart but leaving the store without starting the checkout process so as you can imagine you know i can add page location so i can see this which page these people are seeing in their in their journey on the store and i can you know utilize with more details for this report it is all up to you after completing this one i just click on in here and as you can see there is schedule delivery option i click on it i would send to this one to everyone in marketing you know especially just write their email address choose daily choose the time you want to get this report in your email and then just uh, schedule it by clicking on save button now each day i will get this report in my email with a pdf showing the people's detailed behavior who are adding product to their cart but didn't leaving the store without uh, starting the checkout process this is the first step of our journey now let's look at the solution i have been working with shopify stores since 2012 and we have partnered with more than 300 shopify stores we have just one goal and it is recovering these card abandonments we run lots of different research methods data analyze and directly talking with e-commerce customers and what we saw is kind of interesting because these people aren't leaving your store just because of complicated checkout process because you know if you are using shopify it isn't already an issue or leaving it with you know uh, surprise costs they are leaving because they just don't need to buy your products right away they like your products they want to have it one day but they are just not ready to complete their orders right away so they postpone their buying decision for later and unfortunately those later became never most of the time because of this we built growth seed growth seed is a shopify application directly works with shopify store all you need to do is adding shop growth seed to your shopify store with just one click in the app store then it use some advanced ai engine to keep track of your visitors behavior on your store detect people who are who will likely to add a product to their cart and leave your store without buying anything and then they make it make them a time limited discount offers now let me change my screen and show you how it looks like on a real shopify store i open a incognito browser and open growth seed detail page you can visit this page just visiting uh, this url you can find it in the end of this video and post just clicking on the demo store do it on your browser too and when the store is loaded it looks perfect you know there is no pop-up it is not there is no distraction i can easily see everything but as you can see there is one notification item in here it looks like a native element of your store and when i click on it it says there is no notification right now this came from growth seed so i just open a product detail page i just like it click on the to cart and this is a new store you know there is no purchase in this store because it's a test store so it is on the learning phase and it just make me an offer i close this offer and i can see i can buy this product with a discounted price if i hurry up and complete my order in the giving time also i can see i have one new notification i can click on it and i can read all of campaign details in here perfectly so 
I just keep browsing page of the stores and as you can see my timer will appear on each page of my store telling me how much time I got to redeem this unique offer. Let's say I open different products, you know, browsing different uh, collections, evaluating different options and I can see each product's discounted price with a timer on directly on the product detail page. And as you can see, it doesn't look like a application. It looks like a native feature of your store. So I just open my cart drawer. This is also a very important step during online shopping journey. And I can see my timer with a uh, animation. Also, I can see how much I am saving if I hurry up and complete my order right away. That's not all. I click on the checkout button. And as you can see, my discount code automatically applied to my cart. I didn't copy it. I didn't paste it. You know, I don't need to check it from uh, different locations. When you think about your mobile business, this is very important because it can be hard to memorize the discount code, copy it, paste it, etc. Especially in the mobile. So it works perfectly. And as you can see, it is not a discount code like a welcome time. This is just personal, not a generic discount. Automatically created by Growthseed. You don't need to create any discount code. And the best part is, after the timer is done, Growthseed will delay this discount code from Shopify and uh, visitors basket. So there will be no issue like a discount leak. I will return to my back store. You know, my timer works perfectly. And the best part of this flow, it is the AI engine. What I mean by AI engine, Growthseed detects visitors buying intention based on your previous customers' behavior. You know, these people will highly complete their purchase because it's behavior set very similar to people who completed purchases or these people uh, uh, likely to leave store because it's behavior very similar to people who leave the store before. And then based on this insight, Growthseed give different timer and discount based on your visitors buying intention. High intended visitors get lower discounts for shorter duration and lower uh, intended visitors, low intended visitors will get higher discounts for longer duration. Thanks to this one, you will save discounts and you will just use them when you really need it. End of the day, you will get more purchase, less card development, and then you can increase your return on investment from your advertising campaigns. We have 14 days free trial. You don't need to change any code. It won't affect your page speed. It is perfectly optimized for every purpose of uh, stores, per shop by store owners. So just install the application and you will start to see the effects of this strategy in just two days. Let me know if you have any question. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.